Well, hello, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have, oh, oh my gosh. If you have not already, please like and subscribe, Scorpio. I want to tell you the cards that came out here. I see a glow up and I see a wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's wishes. It's not just one, it's wishes, okay? All right, obviously that failed on purpose. But some of you are dealing with unhealthy love. That's what came out in the cards, right? But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get into the reading and see what comes out one at a time, right? Uh, this is gonna be a love reading and we're going to clarify them with the tarot. But let's get into it. This is for, this is for Scorpio. Scorpio, darkness. Wow, okay, these cards are new. I don't know anything about these cards. So some of these are just as a surprise to me as it is to you. And we're talking about a love situation. That means that there is some destruction. Or remember, I, oh, remember I said an unhealthy relationship. Darkness is like something that you don't see. Or the way that the relationship feel. It doesn't feel good, right? Some, again, blind spots is something that you don't see. But let's read it. It says, embrace your darkness and you will find the great treasures that lie within. Okay, yeah. But as far as a love reading, this, this is making me believe that there is somebody that has influence in your relationship. It's not just you. Something. It doesn't even have to be a person. What if you're dealing with someone who just has a lot of horrible traits? Maybe they like women, men, they like drugs, they like to play games all day. Maybe they have a porn habit or whatever. <clears throat> someone in your life is in this energy. And it could be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with. I didn't even know this card was in this deck. So darkness is coming out as a first placement for your love reading. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Scorpio. Wow. And this is you, right? Isn't Scorpio dealing with darkness in the eighth house? Let's see. Oh my God, this is a lot of lust. Oh my goodness, eighth house, darkness, sexuality, lust here, Scorpio. An unhealthy attachment to someone, unhealthy love based on sexual attraction, based on lust, desire, physical appearance, physical pleasures. But I do feel like somebody is in love with somebody I feel like there is love here, but it's an unhealthy love. I said that at the beginning of the reading. There's an unhealthy attachment to somebody who you have a lot of desire for, because this is you, you're in the middle today, who you have, you know, a desire for, but I just feel like this could be very superficial. And I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that it's only sex, but it's coming out as something not right with that darkness. Something destructive. We're going to talk about it because we are going to clarify, right? But let's go ahead. Let's get your last card. This is for Scorpio. Wow. Someone wants a traditional relationship, right? So someone here wants a relationship that's traditional you know, the husband, the wife, the dog, the kids, and then you're dealing with someone who's not on that level. Somebody is being tempted. There it is. The whole reading saying the same thing. Someone is being tempted or baited by lust or someone is trapped in a lustful behavior. Someone does not value a relationship. I don't care who it is, whether it's you or them. Someone does not value the traditional relationship. And your person, someone that you're dealing with, is easily trapped, easily, easily baitable. Meaning the only thing they have to see is just, you know, a picture of someone. Or, you know, maybe someone can just, you know have money and they're baited by that but i'm not saying where it's deep that's the problem in this reading that something is only superficial 
and it's not deep enough. There's po opposing positions here. Someone is believing in something that's real and valuable and they believe in heritage and culture and tradition. And the other person is like, listen, I'm only here to have a good time. So we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to start with this darkness. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. Scorpio. All of these cards are going to be upright. It's going to tell me a story and what all of this means. This is for Scorpio. That's right, Queen of Wands. Wow. Someone is heavily guided by their sexual parts. And I don't want to say this because you are a Scorpio. Remember, we're looking at darkness. This is the eighth house. And then the Queen of Wands comes out. Queen of Wands is the tempting one. She baits. This could be you. Who are you trying to get? Who are you trying to bait? Or who's baiting you or your person? Someone wants to talk. Someone is like, I want to talk. I want to, you know, there's, I want to have this conversation with this person. So how can I get them to talk to me? How can I get them to talk to me? And I don't know, I feel like there could be pictures that someone is posting, writing some, some you know, lewd conversation, some nasty conversation here, or something like that that someone is doing in order to trap someone or bait someone. You got the hangman. Someone is stuck. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Someone is stuck on somebody. Luring them in. Have you been in a connection with someone and you've been wondering why they've been acting different? This is why. Or you're in a connection with someone and you're like, hey, we made plans to do things. We made plans to do something. And for some odd reason, like they're here one minute and they're not. Like for, their energy is just all over the place. Like when it's good, it's good. But then when they're not here, that's when I have this pain. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Because I see you waiting for them. I'm saying you guys are waiting for the person to call, waiting for the person to follow through on the plans. That's what I'm saying. And they don't do it. Or when they do do it, it's later on. It's not consistent enough. And I'm telling you the reason why. You're dealing with a child person, child man, child woman, very selfish, incompatible at its core. Let's get one more here for Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm going to tell you where you're falling short in this reading. Look at this eight of wands, baby. Man. I have never seen a reading that's so heavily sexed ever. I think out of the whole time I've been on YouTube, even doing personal readings, I have never seen a, rela a reading that is so heavily based on sex. This person is in and out, very selfish, Dealing with different people, all of that. One minute they're here, like I said before, and the next minute they're not. You think that you're special. Ooh, that's what I heard. I don't know if someone said that. If someone said, I think that you're special or you are special, but they're not treating you special. Let's get to you. Who's seducing you? Oh my goodness. Scorpio, some of you guys are in a connection with somebody. Are some of you the side chick, the side dude, dealing with someone who's in a committed relationship? Are you the one that's baiting and luring someone in? Could be. But the Two of Cups is letting me know that there is definitely an outside person here. 
I also see that some of you used to love someone. You had strong love for someone and you're falling out of love or there's something about the love that doesn't feel strong anymore. Your feelings are not as strong for this person anymore. The sex is great. But other than that, something is you're losing feelings or someone is losing feelings here. Or they've lost feelings and they're not telling you or you're not telling your person. There could have been a child that was made out of a connection, I feel. Maybe you have children. Maybe there's a child outside of somebody's relationship. But I do see a child here, which could be making it even harder here with the two of swords, which can make it harder for someone to leave. Queen of Pentacles. There is an earth sign that's playing a role. For you single people, if you're single, I see a lot of dating and there's going to be someone very, very special that you're going to come across. And I'm telling you right now, this person who you are seeking, who you are looking for, this is who the universal God is going to approve of. I am absolutely shocked because all three cars are in harmony with each other. And a lot of you, this is where you're going. Okay, this is again, this is where you're headed. You're going to be so sweet on this person. But the hangman is saying that you have been waiting. A lot of you have been waiting a very, very long time. I mean, you've been single for a very long time. So I love the fact that you're going to have someone that likes you just as much as you like them. They're in your reading. And the potential of this could go to that two of cups. I see that this can actually go somewhere. And this could be, you know, someone who's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, okay, Virgo. So that looks good for the single people. Absolutely. Let's get this fatal lure for Scorpio. If you live with your person, I see that there's going to be conversation about moving out. And I, you know, sometimes with the King of Pentacles, especially if there being that child energy, this could be child support or helping out financially if you guys separate. But I do see a separation. If you are with someone, if you are in a committed relationship, I do see a separation in this reading. Because I feel like for some of you, it's just been too much of an interference. And like I said, there is definitely a third party. I don't know who it's on. I don't know what third party, okay, but I'm seeing it. Um, so fatal talks about something ending. And so if you live with someone, I do feel like there's going to be a moving out energy. This is for Scorpio. Yep, with the sun card, absolutely. Someone is gonna take action. There is a baby father here. There is a child father. Yes, but it's not keeping you with your person. I feel like somebody may have, ooh, somebody may have baited or trapped or tried to trap someone in a relationship by having a child, but it's not working. It didn't work because it's like the distance is still growing between two people. Somebody was like, okay, this is going to work. This is this is how the relationship, you know, I can stay in this partnership. I can stay in this marriage. I can stay in this connection. And no, it isn't working. Someone planned something here with the three of pentacles almost feels like someone planned to have a child or plan in some kind of way to keep you guys connected. And it separated you even more. Maybe you start working with the person or maybe you guys had, had a business together. Whatever it is, it got worse. This is what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter if you're in a partnership or not. There's a distancing happening. This can happen with those that you are dating. Yes. More so if you are in a committed relationship, it looks like you and this person are not getting along and you're just incompatible. Like I said, single people, this looks amazing for you. 
because the happiness coming up on the horizon for you is the fact that there's going to be a more cooperative relationship. This is what you've been waiting for. Look at that Knight of Swords here. Whoa. Wow. Ten of Cups. Stop playing with me with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I, I mean, there's going to be someone who's going to come in here and change your life. You know, I remember when I was talking about how Scorpios were going to have a child two years ago and a lot of Scorpios end up having a child. A year and a half later. Because you got nine months, right, to be pregnant. And, you know, I, as far as my predictions, I, I, I just, what I see is what I see. And for a lot of you, you are going to end up in a long-term community relationship with someone where children are going to be born, okay? I see a real connection because remember, you like this person and they like you. There isn't a one-sided thing. This is what you've been dealing with, though. You've been waiting for someone to change, waiting for someone to love you back. I'm not seeing that. You've been waiting for someone to marry you, waiting for someone to do what's right, maybe waiting for someone to leave. I don't know. But either way, I am seeing that there is going to be a connection here that is exactly what you have been hoping and wishing for, especially with that Ten of Cups and that Sun card. And I don't see you guys waiting for too long. I feel like in your dating pool here, um, you know, there is going to be someone who's going to, you know, take off, um, to me, who's going to sweep you off your feet. There's really not that much convincing. The person is right in your reading. And I feel like they're already around. And if they're not around, they'll be around very soon. So I, I don't like the fact that for some of you, there is a connection that's ending, but endings bring what? beginnings. You know, I feel like some of these things are destined to occur. Some things are not meant to last. Um, and when it's time to move on, according to the Eight of Wands, it's time to move on. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the last three cards here for you, Scorpio. I want to see what's going to come out here. True North is your destiny. That is crazy. Some of you have pretending that you've been happy, pretending that everything is okay just to try to stay in a relationship or whatever. You're, I mean, a relationship has completely taken away your self-esteem, your confidence, and you cannot convince me otherwise. I can see it, okay? This is the reason why I can tell that there's going to be an ending soon. OK, you have to align with your future. You have to align with your faith in your true north. A lot of you have not been in that place. You weren't bold enough. OK, you were not ready and you were not secure in yourself to leave someone. Who, to me, had no respect for you. But your your destiny is coming. Your destiny is coming. Oh my God, you guys had the rise here. Oh my goodness. And then you had Precious Gem. I don't care what situation you guys have been in, meaning as far as single or if you've been in a connection, something falls and then in order for it to rise, something fails, something falls, something didn't work out. So that's exactly what we were just reading. Okay, this is you rising up from something that was either destroyed or, you know, that basically almost destroyed you, okay? So I see that you are not defeated. I love that. This is saying that you are not defeated, that there's going to be success, that you're going to find success in your relationship. This is a relationship romantic reading. So there's going to be something that's going to be successful because this person here sees your worth. That's the difference. Precious Jim is coming out as the way the person view you, how they see you. They see you as the special prize, as the special find. And they're going to treat you accordingly. But a lot of this stuff too, there has to be something that's going to happen within you first. Okay, because you have to get rid of this confusion with the person that you've been dealing with. And you have to get rid of this self-doubt about it actually working. Okay, you don't want to go into a new connection with all of that gunk 
okay, because of what you've experienced or what you haven't experienced. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. Why don't nobody want to be with me? Why can't I be in a relationship? All of that is going to be released here, okay? And I do see such a beautiful future. Your, your, your future part was absolutely spot on. It was amazing. Almost every card that you can have for something that's going to be long-term came out. And that's what I see coming in here for you, okay? So this is what I have for you here, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that is below.